welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very special video. We have the best WWE action figures of 2019 so far, in parentheses, so far, because we're not quite through 2019, right? We're seven months in. I got a big pile of figures here, and we're going to go through the best figures. Guys, I didn't put any basics in here because, first of all, a lot of the basics are trash now. You guys know the, the articulation is just awful. They're, they're just like statues, pretty much. You can't even move their legs or their ankles, and it's just, it's just very upsetting to look at. So I only went with elite figures. We got all kinds of elites in here. I'm very excited to show you guys these. And if you don't own any of the figures in this video, or you don't own all the figures in this video, you know what? I, I highly suggest you go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS and pick them up because they're very special. All, every figure in this video today is, is worth the pickup and worth the money you spend. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in here. I guess we can start off with everyone's favorite. We got the Velveteen Dream, all his accessories in his glory, the Elite 60 67 Velveteen Dream. What a great figure, guys. I know that when the figure first released, you know, it does have a, uh, a torso issue, in my opinion. I really don't like the torso they came with, but I mean, the accessories are flawless. I love the glasses. I love the cloth shirt we're getting. And I did switch his torso. I had to switch his torso, guys. It was just way too freaking massive. So I did switch it here, but it looks way better now, and it looks so good that you definitely need the Velveteen Dream in your collection. So Velveteen Dream Elite Series 67 is definitely in the best figures of the year thus far. Next up, guys, we got a pair of Jeff Hardys, and these are both from Elite Series 67 as well. You will see we have the regular version of Elite 67 Jeff, and we have the Chase version, which is like a 4th of July style. They're very, very similar, except one of them is blue, orange, slash camo, and then you got one that is just like red, white, and blue with plain blue sleeves. I have two of these in my collection. I head swap one for a normal-looking Jeff face, and it, it's great. I really love the screaming head scan. Um, I feel like the eyes may throw it off a little bit, but I think that every Jeff Hardy they make is pretty freaking sweet. I mean, I love every Jeff Hardy. He's one of my favorites of all time, so I definitely wanted to uh, include both Elite Series 67 Jeffs in here, and uh, they're great. I, I have an extra Elite 67 head right here that I'm going to paint up one day to a regular Jeff face, and I'm, I'm ready to see what that'll look like once it's painted up, but uh, I had to include Jeff Hardy in this video. Next up, guys, we have one of the brand new figures out of Elite Series 69, and it is Mustafa Ali. Yes, Mustafa Ali in the yellow attire. We also have the red chase variant. I don't have it yet, but uh, that that does exist. You can get it, but I like the yellow better anyways. And um, it does have a few points deducted because the head scan's so big. They did adjust the head size in his new basics that are coming out, so we're going to have to get a couple of those in here. But you get the great vest. You get the Iron Man, you know, uh, thruster hands there. You get uh, all the great attire. You get the great face mask on there. And just what a great figure. I'm just so happy to own a Mustafa Ali. Definitely one of my favorites in the company currently, and I had to include his figure here today in the best figures of the year thus far. Taking it back to Elite Series 60 yeah, guys, we have the big dog Roman Reigns, and I know we get a lot of big dog figures, but I really do like this one a lot. I love the blue, white, and black vest. I like the logo going on, a great head scan on there. Just overall solid figure. It's a new vest mold, and I enjoy it. I know a lot of people have a Roman Reigns figure. Everybody has a Roman Reigns. They pump them out every other series, but I had to include the big dog here today. In the, and and one of, his figure is definitely one of the best of the year. Another Elite 68 figure, guys, probably the other next best figure in that series. You have the Elite 68 Daniel Bryan, and I don't have the King Mabel in this 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 video from Elite 68 because I felt the articulation wasn't up to par, but I do like the Daniel Bryan a lot. I like the head scan. You get the yes, yes, yes hands. You get the great Seahawks inspired attire in there, and it's just a great overall figure, man. I love all the parts used for it, and it looks it looks so good, so I, I wanted to include him. I also didn't include the Elite 68 Undertaker, and I don't know why. I, I just didn't feel that that figure was as good as it could have been, so uh, just those missed the cut, but those two are featured from Elite Series 68. Another figure from Elite Series 67, guys, is my boy Randy Orton, the Viper, the Legend Killer, the whatever, the, the Apex Predator, whatever you want to call him, guys. You get the, the interchangeable hands for Randy Orton that, you know, he can do his signature pose with. You get his hoodie. Um, the first time on this figure, they actually included his tattoos on his shoulder where it goes up onto his torso, so that's beautiful. It's a good-looking head scan. Probably one of my favorite attires, actually, is the royal blue over the black. Even though we've seen that before, I still think that it works, um, and uh, I just love this figure, man. I really enjoy it, so I wanted to include Randy Orton here today, and it's just overall greatness, man. It's, it's one of his best figures by far. Continuing on, guys, we have a ringside exclusive, and we could not do this video without the ringside exclusive two-pack Hardy Boys from the Brood in their beautiful red shirts. They get their necklaces, you get the hair, you get just great stuff with this figure. 
or these figures I should say. They're just an amazing two-pack, man. Two of the best Hardy Boy figures they've released thus far, and I'm sure that we have plenty more to come. I know we have two more Jeffs just shown off at San Diego Comic-Con coming out this year, so I'm sure at the end of the year we're going to have plenty of Jeff Hardy figures in this video, but uh, for this for this moment on, we only have, we're, we're six months in, or seven months in, I should say, and we already have like three Jeffs in this video, so Jeff Hardy always pumping them out. There are they, they always do a fantastic job on his. They are shirtless under here, so you can get the shirtless look, and uh, it's so cool, man. It's just definitely a great two-pack of Hardy Boys, and they, they look fantastic. I could not leave them off of the best figures this far is the two-pack ringside exclusive Hardy Boys. Moving on to Elite Series 69, guys. Probably the best series ever, and it had to feature one of the best figures, I think, overall that Mattel has made, and I think anybody will agree with me that the Elite 69 Ricochet figure is so nice. The head sculpt, the torso, the tattoo detail, the attire, the everything from head to toe, it's just a wonderful figure, man. It's a perfect representation of Ricochet in a figure, and that's all you can ask for, right? I mean, that is all you can ask for when, when we're getting these figures in, and it's just a freaking beautiful sight. I mean, wouldn't you agree that Ricochet is one of... It's definitely going to be in the top 10 figures of the year. I may make a separate video where we cover the best figures of the year, and then I narrow it down to a top 10. This one's definitely going to be on that video. Moving on to the NXT wave, guys. We have two guys from that NXT wave. I'm pretty sure this is from this year. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is from this year. I may be just losing my mind, but we have the Target exclusive NXT Drew McIntyre, and we have the Target exclusive NXT Aleister Black, and both of these figures are phenomenal. Both of them are incredible, and I love them so much. I did switch the torso on this Drew, and I did have to add lower legs of Seth Rollins to this Aleister Black to make him at least a decent height, because they made him way too short, and they made this Drew McIntyre too jacked. I mean, it's not too terrible for the Drew McIntyre, but I just like this torso better for him, and I had to make Aleister Black taller. He was way too short, but both of these guys are fantastic, and, and it's a great representation of both. Had to include them here today in this video, and I think everybody will agree with me. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, we have two Top Talents figures from the Top Talents 2019 series, and we have the phenomenal AJ Styles in his lime green and black with the beautiful Elite 66 head, and we have the Top Talents Finn Balor, which I did do a head swap on, but it's still a fantastic figure. I know that uh, the silver, the Extreme Rules attire, they, they did leave off the triangle pattern on the back here, but not, it's not bothering me that bad. I, I really like the figure regardless, and it's just a beautiful looking figure. They used the right torso. Uh, it's a great attire, and they did a good job on the Finn Balor regardless of the, the minor flaws in it, and the AJ Styles is the same way. They fixed their Elite 66 scan that was way too massive. They, they tweaked it a little bit, made it better, and your current United States Champion is looking good with his lime green and black, so I wanted to include both of these figures in here, and uh, I think this series should be hitting retail very soon, so be on the lookout for these. Moving forward, guys, we got a couple Ultimate Edition figures. We have the Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura and the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, and I gotta say, I still think that to date, until that Ultimate Edition Finn Balor drops that the Ultimate Edition Series 1 Ronda Rousey is my favorite Ultimate Edition. It's just so fun to pose around, guys. Those double jointed arms and the jo double jointed knees which will be featured on every women's figure moving forward. Not double jointed arms obviously. That would be that would be absolutely incredible if we got double jointed arms for every figure moving forward. But uh, double jointed knees moving forward for every women's figure is huge and uh, this figure started it all and it's a perfect figure. I love posing around. Probably one of my favorite figures to just grab off the shelf and pose around and it looks just like Ronda. It, it, it feels like Ronda. It's just a beautiful representation of her. And then we have Shinsuke Nakamura, which is the same deal. I mean, current IC champ right now. And I like his entrance gear on. I think I'm going to use his arms for a custom or something to throw on a different guy who doesn't have double jointed arms just to leave him in his entrance gear here and uh, his WrestleMania 34 attire. But anyways, I had to include a couple of, of the Ultimate Editions. And I wanted to include the two I like most. And uh, I went with these. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the Warrior one. And the Bret Hart's nice, but I think I like the Shinsuke a little bit more. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple Rey Mysterios. Let's go ahead and grab them right here. We have the Elite Series 69 Rey Mysterio, and we have the Elite Series 67 Rey Mysterio. So we have two different uh, Elite Rey Mysterios from literally two waves apart. Literally, Elite 67, Elite 69, and they're both great. You have like a throwback Rey Mysterio that I did fix up. I need to still switch out these shoulders, but it still looks like a great fix-up regardless. And then we did fix these gloves on action figure surgery, which made this figure look over the 
top, just so freaking nice. So uh, Rey Mysterio's figures are great, and this year I think we're getting three more Rey Mysterio's before the end of the year, so that will be absolutely epic, and probably by the end of the year, if we release that video at the end of December, we could end up with a lot more Rey Mysterio figures in the video, so we'll just have to see. They love pumping guys like Rey Mysterio out because the kids love to buy him, and, and they just enjoy his figures so much. So there is two different Rey Mysterio figures. Next up, we have one of my favorite wrestlers in the entire world. We have Cedric Alexander, and I did fix his torso, but I still wanted to include his figure in the video just because I love Cedric so much, and I think he has a great figure regardless. It looks like Cedric. Um, I did add like a necklace, a custom necklace, and I did fix up his torso, like I said, but nonetheless, it's still a great figure. Even without the fix-ups and the tweaks, it's still a good-looking figure, and I had to include my boy here today in this video with the best figures of the year, so Cedric had to be in my video. And then rounding out the video, guys, we have three different figures from Elite Series 69. I think every figure from that wave was included here today, and um, the Miz figure we are reviewing today, like if you look later on, guys, the Elite Rey Mysterio and Miz figure review will be up later today, and uh, it's a great figure. It's a fantastic figure. Um, I had to include it. I love this Miz head scan. It's pretty freaking sweet, and then um, oh my oh my god, he fell all the way off. He's dead. And then for the last two guys, we have Tommaso Ciampa, which we did fix up the legs. The legs were a bit small, but we did switch on the Bobby Roode, but it's still a great figure nonetheless. And then for uh, Bobby Lashley, we did switch out the knee pads and give him some, uh, some black thighs to give him those uh, biker trunks, and it totally fixed him up nicely. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the slightest little fix-ups can make a figure or break a figure, and so uh, I, I think that we made these two figures look as good as they do, and I think they still would probably be included even if they didn't have the fix-ups because they're still really solid figures, but just adding those fix-ups really does set them off, and it, it makes it where you have to include them in the video, so that is it for the best figures of 2019 thus far, guys. I think that about does it. We have our pile right here. I'm going to slide it back into frame, and we have a ton of figures here. I didn't count. I'd love for somebody to let me know down in the comment section below. I didn't include every figure. I feel like that's cheating. You can't just include every figure because not every figure can be the best. You know, there are some flaws in some figures, and I pointed out some today, and I still included them, so I tried to make it a little bit special. You know, I wasn't just throwing every single figure in here, but you know, it is what it is, but that is pretty much it, guys. If I left off any figures that you felt should have been in this video, please let me know down in the comment section below. I may have missed one or two, you know, because I'm a human being. I'm not perfect as, as much as I'd like to think so that I'm that good. I, I do miss some stuff, so please let me know down in the comment section below if I missed it, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. The best figures of 2019 thus far. Again, we will remake this video in a few months and we will see what figures took the top prize of the best figures of the year all the way through, but today we just went with the halfway mark. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.